Here is a quick look at the shell command in Fusion 360 and some of the challenges that you might face while using it. So let's start with the most basic form of a shell operation. Here we have a simple solid cuboid. Start the shell command, select the top face and specify a thickness. This creates an open top hollow box with a thickness of 2mm all round. Let's edit the feature and remove the previously selected face. Let's try to select multiple faces this time. Select the top face first. Holding down the control key, select the right face. Selecting different faces allow you to control which are the open faces of the box that you are trying to create. Let's remove the faces again and choose the top and bottom face this time. This creates a hollow right through the box. Let's remove the faces and select 3 faces this time. By now, you should have a pretty good picture of how this works. Keep in mind that it is also possible to create a closed shell. By closed shell, I mean a cavity inside of the solid that is completely enclosed within the body. Remove the selected faces, go to the browser and select the entire body. Let's take a look at the cross section. In some cases, you might need to perform shelling on certain features of a part. For example, in this finished model, we have features shelled down with different thicknesses compared to the main shell of the body. So let's see how we can do this. Before we start, do take note that we can achieve this by manually doing extruded cuts. But by applying shelling in more creative ways, we can make it easier to make changes down the road. We will start with the main body that has already been shelled out. To create this feature, we shall start by making an extrude. Following that, start the shell command. We shall control select these two faces since these are the two faces that straddle this particular feature. Enter the desired thickness. Let's take a look at the cross section. For the circular feature, let's start with an extrude. Start the shell command. Select the bottom face and enter the required thickness. Immediately, we can see that there is a problem. Now our goal is to only shell the circular feature. However, by selecting the bottom face, the program is going to try to evaluate the entire topology that is covered by that face and create a shell in that way. We need a way to isolate the circular feature. Make a sketch on this face. Project the circular edge of the feature. Go to Modify, Split Body. Choose the entire model as the body to split. And choose the sketch that we have just created as the splitting tool. Once you hit OK, this splits out the cylinder from the rest of the main body. You can also check on the body's folder to confirm this. Start the shell command and perform a shell on this cylinder. Next, go to Modify, Combine and select the two bodies. Combine them into one single solid. 